You can get that lodging expenses, but not meals while away from home to receive medical care provided by a physician in a hospital or a medical care facility related to a hospital, provided there was no significant element of personal pleasure, recreation, or vacation in the travel. So obviously, you have these travel costs that if you needed that, if it qualifies, you had to go somewhere in order to get specialized care for medicine and so on. But it happened to be next to Disney World. So you went in there and 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 now it's so you got to think is it personal or is it business and obviously whenever those two things in this case not business but possibly deductible is it medically related or non-medically personally related and if it's non-medically personal related then you have to separate that out in some way shape or form you would think because that part wouldn't be deductible but you could probably get some doctor to, to tell you that it was a medical necessity to go to Disney World or, or whatever and so on as long as you had your mask on <laughs> Fauci'd be okay with it so anyway don't deduct more than $50 a night for each person who meets the requirements of publication 502 under lodging so uh, ambulance service and other travel costs to get uh, medical care if you used your own car you can include what you spent for gas and oil to go to and from the place you receive and care receive the care or you can use the 22 cent a mile now remember that when we use these mileage rates that uh the rates are not all the same depending on what you did right so there might be a different mileage rate that you're going to be calculating for medical driving versus uh a schedule c type of business if you had the business use of your car in that situation or for charitable uh, expenses, for example. So add parking and tolls to the amount you claim under either method. Cost of breast pumps and supplies that assist lactation. So personal protective equipment such as masks, hand sanitizer, and sanitizing wipes. Obviously, they, I think they added all that because of the, the COVID thing. It was a big win. The administration came out and said, we are allowing a deductibility of your hand wipes. The problem is solved vote for reelect us based on our that track record of doing that that's going to save that's going to save million that's anyway for the primary purpose of preventing the spread of coronavirus all right limit on long-term care premiums you can include so 